Hey guys, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with me, Time and Tactics. The war with Portugal is over. And now all of the Iberian Peninsula right here is taken. Well, not quite all. There is a blemish here in the south. Hmm. Britain over there. But anyway, we're close to it. So now we have to think about what we should do next. Uh, we are up to 72 factories now. Well, I wonder if we're competing with Italy now in size. We might be. We're getting close. We're getting up there anyway. So we'll, um, we'll take a look at things here and uh, restructure. We are now, uh, well, our fuel situation is pretty good, actually. Our capacity is uh, 566k. We're up to 400, well, not up to, we currently have 401. But we're using 456 a day. Let's go ahead and take care of that. As you can see, it's the Navy that's using most of it, but we'll take care of all of it. And we have three strike forces here. Let's take the first one here. That's our submarine, one of them. They're doing what? Patrol. Nope, don't do that. Instead, head on home to Cadiz over there. And I should take care of that first one. Yep. And now, the second one is our main strike force here. We should let them uh, also just sit tight in Andalusia. And the third task force, they're not ta strike forces here in general. When they're out on the map, they are task forces. We have another sub one, and that is uh, doing a uh, raiding, right? Convoy raiding, yep. And you can also head home to Cadiz. There. It's going to take a while. But once they get home, they're not going to use up any more fuel. We also have uh, the Air Force doing a little bit. And I think they're still circling the Iberian region here, aren't they? Yep, they don't have to do that. Uh, shift, right-click, take care of that. Get it rid of the region. No assignment there. And you don't have to be doing close air support just... I mean, right now. Take out the interception and air superiority. And that should really take care of it. Fuel now should be increasing. Maybe we are using it a little bit too for our... Uh, for our army. And that's because the motorized divisions we have are moving about here. But that's going to stop um, pretty soon here. So that takes care of that immediately. Now, what do we do next? Well, it is May 1939. Unfortunately, I was hoping to have this wrapped up a little bit sooner than this, right? Because then we could have, uh, well, we have more time before the war starts. And I kind of want to join the fascist, right? I think I do. We have the border with France up here. We have to do something about that. The France already has units there. We could take the units we have and line them up here. We also want to take Gibraltar here when the war starts. That's going to be important, I think, because right now, if you control Gibraltar here or if you control in, well, what's in Morocco today, Soita over here, you get the option of letting friendly um, units through. And if you control both of them, England and France are not going to be able to get through. And that means that the mighty British fleet will have to sail all the way around, all the way down here, all the way down South Africa, all the way up, and then into uh, the Suez Canal right over here which has a similar setup right over there, as you can see. But if we block that off, the entryway here, that is a big start, right? Right here. Because now I'm thinking, since we have the western flank here, we control what is, uh, well, what is a core for Sarabi Arab Democratic Republic. We control this here, and, um, well, let me show you here what I'm thinking. Notice this big patch in here in the middle? bordered by this line, this brown line. Well, this brown line here, that is actually, uh, designates the Sahara Desert, I believe, right here. This is all the Sahara Desert. And you cannot have units there. I think that was a update in one of the DLCs, not maybe not the DLC, but in one of the in general updates, the free updates, uh, that you cannot enter with units. So that really changes what this map looks like. You can only uh, navigate, not navigate, but move through the northern, eastern, southern, and western part, not here in the center. That means we're controlling the western flank here, and there's only one province right there in Rio de Oro. If, let's say, we're at war with France, very likely, and they attack, they have units here. If they were to attack north, all we have to do is place one unit here, and they could not get through. They cannot go this way. That's impassable. And that lets us attack north here into what's Morocco here, Algeria over here, and Tunisia over here. 
Why would we want to do that? Well, I took a look at the different uh, states within this area here. And if you look here, down the south, there's not much here. Marrakesh here is uh, devoid of any options of building anything. 0 to 25. There's a lot of people, though. We might be able to use them. But um, anyway, that's Marrakesh. North of Marrakesh is Casablanca. Also belonging to, well, Morocco has a core on it. There are two potential factories there. So if it's not being used right now, we could build them up. But France might already be using them. So that's something we can take. And then further east, there's one in the south here. And Tlemcen, uh, I don't know how to say that. There are no factories here. Again, also some population there. Going north of that, though, look at this area here, Algier. This is Morocco here. This is the part of Al Algeria here. 12 out of 25. They are using some of those, at least, right? That is going to affect us right away. If we take that, we can get more factories. And that's 3.24 million people there as well. Going east, there is another area, Constantine here, 4 out of 25 there. And then east of that is Tunisia, 4 out of 25. And then down here, there's one more. That's a lot of different uh, options for us here, right? If we take all of this. Now, can we actually take it? Well, I think we can mo probably move our units down and take it. But what's going to happen with Germany? And I say Germany because, you know, Germany is going to attack France, right? Since we're playing historical. Once they take France, if they create the Vichy France, which is the southern portion of France that was like nominally free, but really under German control, then Vichy and what's left of France, the other France, which is called Free France, will divvy up the world. And I don't know how that's divvied up. Will Vichy get this or will that be belonging to Free France? If it's Free France, we can take it. Can we keep it? I just don't know. But worst case, we'll help out Vichy, right? So I think that's going to be one of our goals here. Anyway, going back to what I was, uh, there was a couple of suggestions made to me. Well, first of all, we do get a lot of provinces now, owned, formerly owned by Portugal. Let's talk about that first, because out here in the ocean, we have the Azores. They're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, as you can see. And that is a kind of a good base. Look at this here, level three naval base there. So it extends the range of your fleet, provides repair services for it, and then overseas supplies. We could base maybe a um, a submarine fleet out of that and have them intercept. Well, let's take a look at the names here. Intercept any convoys from the USA to over to the UK, like in the Mid-Atlantic Gap. Wouldn't they go right through here? I I think they would. And we could also place some units down here, or a strike force, I mean. This this here is the Cape Verde Islands. That's only level 1 here, I think. Yeah, wait. There's only level 1 naval base there. But still, we could place them there too. Isn't there, uh, you know... Don't you get... Yeah, look at that. Rubber 30 over there. They have aluminum. They might have more than that. Brazil is pretty good, right? So if we put another... Uh, fleet here we could do that and one fleet here focusing on intercepting anything coming into England would be an option right so that is Portugal uh, formerly uh, owned by Portugal we also have Madeira here that's Funchal I think yeah it's Funchal there is actually one military factor there hmm. but anyway so we have options here we already owned the Canary Islands from before yep and we have an option to build there as well but we'll see what we'll do about that but let's keep that in mind Maybe some um, submarine fleets out there. Okay, we were given other areas, though, by by uh, Portugal. And look at this one. Here is one down here. Portuguese Guinea. There is a claim for Guinea-Bissau. Not that many people live there. That's going to be important. You can't build anything there. Hmm. But we do own it. Going down the coast, we already had this area. Equatorial Guinea. Not very many people there. Another country, Equatorial Guinea, could be created there. And we can't build anything. Again, same thing. But further south, we have these two giant areas. This here is Angola. So it's claimed by Angola as a core, core state. Doesn't exist yet. We could create Angola. Right now, there's one rubber. There's a potential for one factory. And there's 3.39 million people there. On the other side of the coast of Africa, we have Mozambique. Even more people, 4.33. There is one civilian factory. 
No resources. We had one rubber here in Angola, but nothing on the Mozambique side. Here, this is very interesting to me, what we're going to do here. But let's continue a little bit further. We have a couple more uh, overseas possessions. There's one in India. This one. Goa over here. Quite a few people, but I don't think we can do much here. Nothing we can build. Hmm. And then we have one more. And that would be over here in the southern coast of China. That's Macau. Owned by Portugal again before. Not very many people. Nothing we can do here unlocked. You know, I guess looking at Japan here. Japan is winning this, right? Once they win, we would have a foothold here, I guess, to help out. I don't know. Hong Kong is over here. More people. 1.2 million. And there's a lot of factories there. So, that's something, maybe. Anyway, but I think we're going to focus on um, Africa right now. So, what can we do with this? Well, I was thinking about... Well, let me show you here. If we go to National Spain, Occupied Territories, you'll see we have a lot of different territories we can... Uh, well, under our control. Currently, just plain old owned by us. We can um, return some of these. British Raj, go up. Remember that? Just give it back to them, which I don't think there's any benefit of doing that. Return to China? No, we don't want to do that. So let's leave those aside. But Angola and Mozambique, we can release those nations. If we do, they're going to be their own nation here, but they're going to be a puppet of ours. And as a puppet, they can join wars on our side. They don't have to. That's important. And we can get their manpower. And manpower, right now, we only get a very small amount of that manpower. You can see there, 98% goes away. We get 2% 2 per, uh, 2 out of it, of the recruitable manpower. That's hardly anything. Right now, we are sitting on 352,000. We want to get as much manpower as possible. Let's release both of those. Remember, there is no... Well, there is a little bit of an option to factory there. We'll lose one civilian factory, which is not great, maybe. So do we want to release them now or a little bit later? Oh, I'm going to do it now, just so I have it done. Let's go ahead and do that. So where are they? Release Angola as a puppet. Yep. We could also release them um, so they are self-governing completely, but we don't want to do that, obviously. Mozambique, release them as well. Here's another benefit of releasing them. If we join the fascist, here, as you can see, up here when the war starts, we are fighting up here. Britain is all around us here, and they have units right here. They would go in and attack here. We have no units there. We have to do, enforce and defend. Let's have these uh, Angolan Empire and Great Mozambique take care of their own thing. And they don't have to join the war. We can still take care of uh, or take advantage of this manpower over here. 3.39 million and 4.33, which is not the recruitable one. But it's going to be uh, quite a bit there. Can I actually see how much recruitable we have? How much we get? Yeah, 49.55k. That's how much we get in recruitable population there. And here, 63,000 as well. That gets basically added here to our population. It's a little bit different than that. We can go to, actually we go to recruit and deploy. And now this option is available. Our subjects, Angolan Empire and Great Mozambique. Let's look and see what they have. Well, they have the same templates we do. They were given that when the when we liberated them. So what we can do is, well, we can copy their templates over, the ones we're interested in. It doesn't cost anything. That's free. And then we can build them. And then the majority of manpower will come from those nations. And here's what I'm thinking. If we place maybe a few, maybe a defensive unit here, a garrison unit over there, just to hold it, if France attacks, you know, we're at war with them up north there. Maybe one over here too. Hmm, we can do that. Let's go ahead and copy this one here. I think I want to um, and go on. We'll copy this one. There's four infantry battalions there and then one engineer company. Let's do that. And I think actually, you know, one thing I want to show you here. Look at this here. Infantry equipment is not caught up yet, but look at that. Foreign equipment, 18,000. That's the Portuguese that gave us that. And they gave us artillery, 338. Anti-air, no, nothing there. But support equipment, oh yeah, 1210 as well. We're going to have a ton. I think we can afford, you know, to get a couple of units of there. So let's go ahead and, and Golden Empire. 
I want to get a copy in there. It's small unit there. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll do Great Mozambique. We'll do the same thing. Oh, I guess we don't need it. We can just create Angolans for now. But we'll see. So if I create a couple of them, the thing is with the Angolans, if I create them now, I can only place them here in this area. How do they get over there? Well, they could do naval transport over there, I guess. We can do that. The suggestion I got, and here I'm finally getting to the suggestion, was to create this and let's pop it, I guess. But also you can do a couple of different interesting things where you can, um, well, you can create templates of one unit and uh, create it and then uh, transfer it to a different type of template. You can also here, you can uh, do uh, tricky things uh, where you uh, send them home the units and then switch them back. You kind of gain the, the manpower as your own. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to try to play it as how they kind of intended it, more or less. Not 100% maybe, because here's what I'm thinking. If you have, you, since we have units up here, we can take them at any time and we can say, if I select them here and then select this here, I can switch them over to another template here. Look at this one. I can switch them over to this one if I wanted to or any other template from the Angolans. And then our manpower will be from them instead, meaning we'll get returned manpower up here. So now we get more manpower up here to play around with. That's something I can actually do. So we may want to do that once we run low, maybe. Once we run low on manpower, or maybe we want to do it beforehand, before the war starts. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and, and create, uh, we'll train up here. You can see we get uh, our equipment right away. We'll train at this uh, garrison brigade. A manpower, 4,300. And uh, out of that, 3,000 comes from the Angolan Empire. Great. Remember, they had 49,000. So that's going to be sucking them uh, or sucking them dry. No, not really. But they're going to be basically going down uh, from that, right? So once they're down to zero, they can't do any more. Where do we place this unit? Well, no location set. We can only set them here. Home province. Even though that's a core up here, you can put it there. It needs to be a home province. We'll put them in Luanda. Right? In Angola. I think so, because that means we can take it from here and then sail up here and park them in here, I think. Do we get one or do we get two? Well, I'm going to go ahead and maybe add another unit. We'll get two right anyway, because we need one up in the Equatorial Guinea, right? In this area, I think, right? Portuguese Guinea. Not Equatorial Guinea. Portuguese Guinea. We're going to send one up there, too. Maybe actually send two of them. Let's do that. So we'll send... Uh, we'll add another unit. So that's three of them coming in there. Okay, good. That takes care of that. So two over here and one over there. Anything here we're going to be um, attacking with. All right. So what do we do against France? I'm thinking... Hmm. What is this? This is a mountainous terrain, right? No hills. Okay. Hills. Not good for armored units. So we probably want to uh, send some units down here that can work in hills. And that would be our mountainous ones, right? Up here, we have mount uh, mountains up here too. There's not much uh, terrain here. That's also mountains. Forest, yeah. Not much uh, terrain that's good for our um, motorized divisions, right? We could... Here's Oh, now I'm thinking of something else, actually. We could take our motorized divisions down here and as you can see I was going to say it's hot down here but it's not hot there it's hot they are going to get used to that heat and not get a penalty right not everywhere it's not hot everywhere I guess not hot there hot here hmm that's plains but not hot hot here Casablanca yeah let's send down our armored units we'll take not armored they remember they are not really armored. We're going to send them down to uh, Almeria. Let's do that. Two of them there. We'll send them down. And they're going to come across and they're going to be uh, sitting here and building up for the attack uh, that's going to come shortly. Okay, who do we send to the border then? Maybe all of the blue army? There's 21 of them. Yeah, maybe do that. Front line here. They're just going to go ahead and move over there. Who else do we take down there? I don't really know how many I, I'm going to take. Hmm. So right now... You know, that might be good. Uh, 21 out of 24. Anybody else will join this army in the south. Let's do that. So actually, 
We'll send down the entire army. There's one uh, garrison division there as well. Let's send down the entire red army there. And these are going to train. Are we going to have them train here? No, we're not going to have them train there. We're going to go down there as well. And they're going to join the red army when they're fully trained, right? What do we say? They can also train, actually. So let's have them join up that training army there as well. Everybody's moving down here, and then they can move over here and train, right? Okay, so let's do that. Who is on the way, though? What do we have production-wise? That's Angola. Here we have... Okay, and Andalusia. We're going to tell them to go to Almeria instead. We cannot do here. That's not our home uh, territory. There, Granada. Okay, so we're going to get... Yeah, pretty soon. We could get them now, but let them have them train up fully before we get those two motorized there. How many motorized do we want to get? Well, that depends on what we're doing here. There's planes along the coast here. Hmm. Casablanca there is 10. Victory point. Wow. Okay. Anyway, uh, it's along the coast here. That's desert. Um, desert probably is okay for the uh, armored, right? And then along the coast here as well. Super hot here. Extremely hot. And then coast here as well. Yeah, there's coast, oh, I mean, not coast, there's plains all the way around here. If we want to attack south, right? And I think there's a little bit of coast here, too. But maybe not, well, we're getting two now. Should we get more? Well, I think maybe we do need them eventually, right? Let's get these anyway. Okay, let's, <clears throat> let's do that. So we'll keep them there, and they're going to keep on building up more, and then we're going to ship them over here. We'll see when we attack. I don't know if we're going to have time to really get a huge force down here, but we might be able to. So that takes care of our northern border, and then the ones are going to go across. What about here, though? Against um, against the British. We're going to make sure we attack there, too, right? What do we say? We're creating new ones here. They're going to Madrid right now. You know what? We'll set them up here instead. Right there, Andalusia. If we take those... Everybody here is going to belong eventually to the Red Army, right? They have one there. Yep, that's going to be the Red Army. The ones that comes out here, they're going to be the ones attacking into the hilly terrain there in Gibraltar. Okay. Yeah, we have a core on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that up. Do I need to maybe produce more? Well, you know what? I could use up... Why don't we go ahead and um, get another template from Mozambique? There's, that's the one that has more... Population, actually. 63,000, I think. We'll copy this. Our main infantry. You can see here what we have. Yep, that's a pretty good one. We'll take that one. And then we'll produce one of those. And we'll train that. Where do we set them up? I think here. Can't do it, right? We have to put them down here in... In Mozambique. And that's where that comes in. That's where you could do that. Where you build one of your own. And then just switch them over. And I think... Yeah, we probably will do that, right? Otherwise, let's build them down here and ship them all the way back, yeah. So let's not create this one right now. We'll get rid of that one, but we have the option of creating it. So instead, what we'll do is we can take one of the ones that are here and, and make them... We can just take it here and say that's going to be a Mozambique infantry division there instead. We want to change new equipment. We need eight infantry to support... That's fine, and we'll gain back 6,000 manpower. Let's do that, and we'll do the same for this one. Right there, and five, there it is. Great. So that is now um, an actual Mozambique unit. Anyway, um, wait a minute. They're all fully trained, actually. Let's go ahead and assign them here. There, they're fully trained. Excellent. And we do want to get more units. Is there any disadvantage in building more units here? I don't think there is. We're building these uh, brigades down south. That's fine. But uh, we're going to build more of these, I think. Yeah, let's do that. We'll add a unit. Do we need to upgrade and add another template? Uh, I don't think. Not yet. These infantry units are going to be very helpful, right? Because they're anti-air. They do provide a little bit of uh, protection against armored units. So let's go ahead and add another one. That's Andalusia. Yeah, Andalusia. We'll do an another one here. We have a lot of material we can still use. All right, so we're going to have... Um, we have set it up what we're going to do now, right? We have units there. What about here? We do want to send somebody down here eventually. 
Maybe send him down right now. Do we need all these units? Probably not. We'll take one of these. That is not fully trained. We'll take one that's fully trained. Put them in a uh, another army. They're by themselves. Let's send them over to... I don't, think I, can, I don't think I can click on this right... Not yet. Now I have to go to the port first. Okay. We'll send them down to uh, Porto. And then after that they can go out... Yeah, we have to wait there till we uh, get to Porto. Then they can uh, hop on a boat and go down here. We'll put one. Should we put one or two? Garrison is, remember that, it has only four battalions and one uh, engineering company. It's not very much at all, actually. We'll take two, I guess. How many do we have? There's one over there. Yep, we'll take them as well. So two of them now are heading over there. Two there. Okay, good. And I don't want the same color for everything. There, okay. That's looking pretty good. I mean, I think I have an uh, okay idea now. What to do? Okay. Going, uh, moving on here. Free dockyards. Yeah, we have one extra one. That's from Lisbon, right? What do we do? Well, we need to get more submarines. The British are going to attack. Once we declare war, they're going to have a huge fleet. I want to save my main force, right? So let's get... Well, are we going to use... Are we going to try to get... I kind of want to get this one out. That's a light cruiser, right? Another screening ship that could help protect our main... Uh, Two heavy cruisers and the battleship Espana. Let's give one there. Okay, that takes care of that. Then here on this side of things, well, we have a lot of these close air support planes. But we're not quite ready yet for our fighters, so I think I'm going to have to keep it. We're just going to have a lot of them in supply. You know what, though? We have 250 right now. Why don't we create one task or one air wing? of uh, close air support in the north and one in the south because we do have an air base here and the capacity is 600 planes so that's pretty good let's keep it there do you want to modify the factories well um infantry equipment we're getting hmm we have 98 tank destroyers in storage and motorized we have a bit too but we eventually here once our plane comes out we do want to have three factories there i think the question is, are we going to have a lot of these light units? We're going to have motorized eventually, right? Anyway, so I think maybe we want to maybe reduce this. We're not using the full capacity anyway yet. So we can go down with that a little bit. And then instead we'll bring up maybe the motorized. Bring up the motorized. And you know what? Bring up another. Um, oh, we're done there. Okay. I was going to say more on the air support because we're going to switch it over pretty soon anyway to... The fighter, right? So maybe I want to bring down support equipment. Needed for reinforcement. I don't think so. We have Portuguese stuff that we're using. Okay, let's go with that. I think that's good. Modify government. We have 179. Do we need to do anything here? Hmm. Military high command. Concealment. Uh, that would be uh, air support. Enemy air support minus 10. Yeah, that's good. Screens. Enemy air support minus 10 is a good one. Fleet logistics. Range, no. Don't need that, I don't think. So nothing here. We'll stay away from that. Nothing up here ideological. And um, industrial concern. Industrial research speed plus 10. We should have done this a while back, right? Electronics should have done that a while back too. So what can we do with them now? The political points we have. Well, war economy is good. I'm going to keep that for a while. Well, we're not going to switch off from that, are we? Limited export. We're doing export focus right now. More construction. This is going to come in. It's going to be important later on, right? Because we're going to be wanting to keep our resources. It might even be important now. Because if you look here, if you look at steel, we're making, well, minus 10. We really have 72. But a lot of that is exported. And steel is used to, well, for a lot of things, right? Ships, I know ships use it. Look at that cruiser hull, zero. We could switch it, and I don't really know if that is a good thing to do now. Because construction speed plus 10. If you go to limited, plus 5. Factory output goes down. Research speed here is 5% as well. Maybe just keep it the way it is for now, right? Limited const uh, conscription, we can do extensive Training time goes up, more people. We're not going to need that, I don't think, right? I think we're good the way it is. 
What else do we have here? Chief of Navy, Naval Aviation, Naval Air Attacks from Carrius. Don't need it. Decisive Battle, Capital Ships. We do have a few of those. That could come in handy. You know, I may want to just go ahead and use this here, Industrial Concern, anyway. Uh, electronics or industry. Which one is the one we need the most? Here is uh, engineering. Electronics would be here. Yeah. You know what? We should do this one, shouldn't we? Yeah, I think so. Here's um, industry. It's also a good one. Production efficiency cap. Yeah. Okay. Well, hmm. Let's go ahead and pick uh, the electronics then. There, done that. And I think that takes care of it. We're insufficient resources. Can't do much about that. We could actually... We could trade one in, couldn't we? Yeah, let, we could trade one in. Let's do that. Let's get some uh, steel there. Where do we get it from? United States? Hmm. We're already getting for some stuff steel from United States. It's not going to be helpful, is it? Once the war starts, we're going to be in bad shape there. United Kingdom we're doing things from. Australia... All that's going to fall apart, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. German Reich, we could get it from them. Also going to fall apart. Soviet Union, yeah. Well, I guess we'll do United States for now. 16, we don't need 16. I think we'll just go for 8. There. And that should take care of most of our problems there. Okay, so that means we're going to start up the game. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We haven't started up the game. Let's see how everybody's moving. So it's, two, it's still two years here before we get the... Well, that's going to be a day or two before the fuel situation is improved. Okay, our units are moving north. Are we in Oporto? Almost in Oporto. Let's take them as soon as they get there. They're almost there. Insufficient still. Missing equipment production. Oh, that would be the naval bomber. That's right. Naval bomber. 73 days. But, boy, I... You lose so much production here. Efficiency, right? If you, if I switch that off now, I'm making five a week. It would be like one a week. But I would get some bombers. I think I'm going to switch it off. I have 61 extra ones. We'll do a naval bomber. There. Yeah, two a month. I'm going to get two or four of them. Yeah. Okay, well, it's done. Let's move them over there. Uh, they're coming over there. Yep, good. Heading south. Okay, good. There, excellent. Now we can take this uh, army, both of them, and head down to... Well, we're going to head on to... Uh, well, we're going to head out in the ocean first, I guess. we're gonna. No, we have to pick a port. We have to pick a port, right? That's how it works. Yep, there we go. We cannot go here. No, nope, we have to go to a port area. So they're going to head south. That's excellent. In, in north here, we have our army lining up. They're coming in. Excellent. Is there going to be enough units here? Mounted and infantry units. Yeah. Two, two, two. Looking at how many we have in each sector. We have two in each. We do have two, but just barely. We want to get more. We're also moving our other uh, units down here. That's right. And we are getting uh, more... Fairly soon, anyway. They are going to take a while, aren't they? September. You know what? We will need to get more of those. Don't we? we should not wait to build. We should build many more now. Right, don't you think? We need to build a lot more units right now so they can be ready when the time comes. Use up all of our um, supplies, pretty much, right? I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Let's build a motorized division here. We still have 341,000. So we'll do another one here. Yeah. There. Now we're running out of what? Motorized and light tank destroyer. That's good enough. Let's leave it at that. And then we'll add more infantry units. Do we want anything else? Mountain is good, but I think... What we could do... We could get a few more down here. More garrison units, right? I'm thinking we can have garrison units holding parts of Africa for us later on. They're cheap to get anyway, so don't cost very many uh, any piece of equipment there. We get more of the Angolans there. Might as well, right? They can all come out in... in uh, when are they going to come out? The September 15th. They're all going to be available, is what I'm trying to say, down here in... 
well, I don't know what it's called, this uh, port area, not this port area, it's actually down here in the capital, Luanda. Okay, well, that will take care of that. I think I'm good. Maybe I should build more units even so, but uh, maybe what we'll do is, these are all going to be available in the south, right, Andalusia. Hmm, may want to send them north, actually, because I'm putting some of them. You know what? We'll put these in Andal Andalusia, that's fine. And then we'll make another one. We'll turn another one here. No location, but we're going to put them up north, right? There. Aragon. We have more. Yeah, we have a lot here. I think that will do it, right? Will that do it? 254. We could get more. So that would be six simultaneous ones coming out in uh, September 1939. Seems like a good time to have units, right? All right, we'll, we'll leave it at that. And with that, I'm going to have to leave it, guys. I'm out of time. I'll come back next time, and we'll play more of uh, Hearts of Iron 4. Bye.